Welcome to the Tribe Digital Marketing Series. Today, I'm joined by Beth Corby, who is a senior digital marketing consultant for LeadMD. Beth, thank you for joining the show. Hey, Josh. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. It's good to see your face. Yeah, you too. <laughs> All right. Well, I always like to give everybody a little insight into who you are and what you love about marketing. So maybe you could share. Yeah, so I am, we're, I'm on the package services team at LeadMD. Okay. So what we do is we actually uh, do implementations directly for Marketo. Okay. And we also take some of those on board on our own paper as well. And we also do uh, partnerships with other people like Uberflip. Uh, we we do visible implementations. Um, so mainly implementation perspective. Gotcha. And what I love about it is I love to enable people to use these tools in a way that's going to get them, especially Marketo, the best output of reporting. And I love to build those new relationships so that we can have future relationships with them. Awesome. Reporting is always a big one, right? Do you find yes. that that's one of the, do you try to work backwards from yes. what people want to accomplish from a reporting standpoint? Yes, especially in Marketo, um, there's three things that you need to have set up to have reporting work in Marketo, and that okay. is acquisition, success, and cost. So I drill that into their heads. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think people know that going in? Is that like a shocker that that's your... They don't. No, they don't. They never do. <laughs> How much drilling do you have to do? A lot. I, I do pop quizzes. What are the three things that are most important? So yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> well, so it's interesting. You have a, a technology implementation perspective on mm -hmm. everything that's going on. And it seems yeah. now that people likely have to lean on technology more mm -hmm. as their in-person events and whatnot are being canceled. Yeah. What, what tips or what have you seen that's working for folks during the, the COVID crisis? Um, a lot of things that I've noticed is um, just being human with people, asking them how they are. And, um, you know, there's a lot of nervousness this, this day and age with people yeah. with jobs and stuff. So being human, just, you know, being there for the, the folks and asking them how they're doing and how they're, um, you know, how they're, you know, what we could do to help them with their lives being affected with COVID. So that's, that's awesome. Number one. And I definitely heard that from the leadership leadership team and it's worked for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, and from an implementation perspective, um, in all honesty, it's died down in our end um, a little bit because, you know, probably people are scared to spend the right. money. But I would say um, that these tools in the long run are going to really help them develop their tech stack, their strategy around, well, it's better to have a strategy before the tools, but, um, <laughs> but we, well, that's what we're here for. Um, but in the long run, I think, um, you know, things are going to get better and people are going it, to, it's just going to pick back up. And uh, yeah. Have you seen any in the implementation front, have you seen any of the asks coming into that implementation be different now than they have been in the past? Um, I, yeah, I actually have had a lot of people um, asking about events, okay. uh, specifically webinars. Okay. So it's interesting you ask that because I had a couple of people just recently uh, want to integrate like uh, on 24 and gotcha. go to webinar. So a lot of people are putting, you know, live events into their, their, their mix for sure. Right. Yeah. And then when they ask about that, what do you tell them? Acquisition, uh, success, and cost? Yeah, exactly. I will tell them how to set that up so they are tracking all those things. Yes, absolutely. I <laughs> love it. Well, maybe for people that don't know, why are those three things so important? Um, well, in Marketo, uh, acquisition is important from a first touch. That's how you know how people come into the system. Okay. Success is important from a multi-touch. That's how you know how many things they've been successful in within the programs of Marketo. And cost if you don't know the cost of what that is, you're never going to get ROI data. So. There, there, there's no I in ROI without the exactly. I. <laughs> Not sure if that came out right, but got it. No, I love it. I think that's great. So, I mean, especially if you're, if you're shifting to, it'd be interesting, you know, for mm -hmm. folks to be able to take a look, you know, year over year when you've got your traditional events that you went to. And if you had to pivot some of those things into webinars, yeah. if you have those things set up the right way, yeah. The entire time, 
mm -hmm. the differences are, right? Did you oh, acquire yeah. more names in the events or the webinars? Did you get exactly. more better? You know, that would be super interesting. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully yeah. people are listening to you and getting it set up the right way. I hope so. <laughs> Anything else you want to leave folks with? Uh, no, nope. I just want everybody to stay safe out there and uh, hopefully this will all end soon. So yes, I agree. So you can get out on that pontoon boat. Exactly. <laughs> all right, Beth, it was awesome to see you. Thank you for the time. All right, Josh. Bye. Bye.